This is Seven National News and in our top story, the UAE has been making a very strong mark at the ongoing Expo Milan 2015. That's according to the Deputy Commissioner of the UAE Pavilion. Abdullah al Ayadrus was quoted in news agency WAM as saying that the UAE presence in Expo Milan 2015 tells an epic story of a nation that has excelled and fascinated the world. The Deputy Commissioner has been engaged in event management for 25 years and is currently working as a part of a specialist team put together by the National Media Council, which oversees the UA Pavilion at the Expo Milan. Recently, the Italian ambassador to the UA, Giorgio Staras, described the UA Pavilion as one of the most distinctive, organised and attractive pavilions at the Expo Milan for 2015 in terms of image, design and messages to participants and visitors. 97.9% of those who committed serious crimes such as murder, robbery and assault are already behind bars. That's according to the latest, latest Dubai police figures. These figures include those who managed to flee the country, but police managed to arrest them later on during the first half of the year. Major General Khamis Mata al Mazina, the commander in chief of Dubai police, said that the General Department of Criminal Investigation has achieved 100% success on arresting culprits involved in murders over the past five years, pointing out a new mechanism adopted by Dubai police of tracking the movements of suspects who were previously involved in crimes has helped reduce crimes related to physical assaults and knife attacks. Major General Khalil Ibrahim Al-Mansouri, the Assistant Commander-in-Chief of Dubai Police for Criminal Investigation, also revealed that car theft crimes have fallen by more than 80%. He revealed that 30 complaints surrounding stolen cars were registered during H1 as a result of negligence of vehicle owners. Al-Mansouri said that thefts of quad bikes are currently the only major problem as they all look very similar and there are no number plates and that most owners leave them in front of their houses, making them easy targets. The Dubai Electricity and Water Authority has launched a new awareness campaign under the theme Every Drop Matters in order to raise awareness among Dubai residents on the need to rationalise water use. The campaign, which coincides with World Water Week, which will be held in Stockholm, Sweden, from the 23rd to the 28th of August, is a part of DWA's awareness initiatives launched to encourage the responsible use of natural resources. His Excellency Saeed Mohammed Al Tayyar, the MD and CEO of D, was stated with a lack of water resources. We provide fresh drinking water as per the highest of international standards through desalination. This accounts for 99.5% of water produced here in Dubai. He noted that DWA's installed capacity is 470 million imperial gallons of desalinated water per day. Altair also revealed that in 2014, water consumption was highest in the residential sector with 59% of total water use as compared to commercial customers at 28%, non-commercial buildings at 10%, while industrial customers used only 3%. He added that Diwa has managed to achieve impressive results in reducing water use over the past six years through its various campaigns with a total saving of over 5.4 billion gallons of water for the period. A 250-bed capacity, 734.6 million dirham hospital is set to open up in the capital by the end of the year that will also create around 800 jobs. NMC Royal Hospital will be situated on the outskirts of Abu Dhabi in Khalifa City and will specialise in 25 different fields, including cardiology, vascular surgery, gastroenterology, bariatric surgery, neurosurgery, neurology and paediatrics, among many others. Barry Bedford, the hospital's general manager, was quoted as saying that by putting the hospital in the middle of this area, we are addressing a huge need of Emiratis in the community who are likely to be our biggest clientele. 
Officials added that the hospital has been under construction since 2012, back when the plan was approved, and it is now in the testing phase with equipment already moving in. They added that the hospital will offer basic as well as upmarket care, though it will cater mostly to high-end insurance cards. The Indian community in the UAE celebrated India's 69th Independence Day today with many celebrity performances, dance and cultural shows, entertaining a huge audience that attended the event. Raising the national flag at the Indian consulate in Dubai, the Consul General of India to the UAE, His Excellency Anurag Bhushan said that this year's Independence Day is very special, as the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be visiting the UAE on the 16th and 17th of August, just in a couple of days' time, which is the first by any Indian leader in 34 years. He added that along with freedom, development on all fronts is important. Anurag stated that no country wants to live under occupation and on this day, it is crucial to remember that although the country has achieved freedom, challenges do remain and much more needs to be done to ensure that every Indian around the world lives with dignity and self-respect. Addressing the Indian community attending the event, the Consul General also said that a lot of preparations are underway to welcome the Indian Prime Minister here to Dubai, and he is immensely hopeful that his visit will mark a new phase of relations between both countries. On this occasion, many exciting dance and singing shows were also organised to entertain the Indian expat population at the event today. Every uh, Independence Day that I spend here is a memory to cherish. People everywhere around the world, Indians, they have carried motherland in their heart. But the kind of connectedness, the kind of nationalism, and the kind of patriotism that I see, and the kind of uh, connection people have kept with India really touches my heart. So these are memories to cherish. And today also was no different day. I think we have so many people that we couldn't accommodate all. But thanks to all who came, thanks to all also who couldn't come, but would have liked to come. Jai Hind and a very happy Independence Day to all my friends, to all my countrymen and to all the lovers of India. And the Pakistani expat community was also in high spirits this weekend, as a large number marked the country's 69th Independence Day on Friday with widespread celebrations across the UAE. The Pakistan Education Academy witnessed a large gathering where hundreds packed the auditorium and celebrated the anniversary of the country's independence. The musical event, filled with festivities, was also attended by His Excellency Asif Durrani, the ambassador, as well as His Excellency Javed Katak, the Consul General of Pakistan to the UAE, where they delivered a speech highlighting the significance of the 14th of August in the nation's history, which marked the end of British colonial rule over the Indian subcontinent. It was a night to remember for the hundreds that had gathered at the school auditorium, with many dressed in green with face-painted flags as they sang patriotic songs and paid tribute to the late founder, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. The event showcased different cultures of Pakistan together with a number of musical and dance performances from school children, keeping the audience on their feet throughout the event. According to the attendees, although the celebrations are different from home, it was a great opportunity to reconnect with the culture and celebrate the important occasion of their country's history. I would like to thank to the Pakistani consulate, Pakistani community over here as well, to manage and to celebrate this kind of celebrations over here. We are out of the country. We miss that occasions. We miss that our country as well, but Alhamdulillah, now we are gathered here, and and we we really thanks and appreciate the UAE Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well. So thank you very much. Congratulations, Pakistan. Happy Independence Day to all Pakistan nations. I think it means the same thing to me that it means to everyone else. It's a day to celebrate my identity, my country, my nation. It's a day we can all get together and celebrate. It's a very important day. And we don't get to celebrate much about it. You know, 
we are living outside. It's not like we don't live in Pakistan, so we don't get to experience it much. But outside, we do feel the importance of our country because you know how important our country is. Like we don't get to see the people. We meet different people outside, and here there are different so many nationalities. We get to experience it. But in Pakistan, you actually get to enjoy the cultures. I was proud of uh, performing on the stage with my friends and my classmates and all. I was a little bit nervous but I had fun. I am feeling very good. Today we enjoyed a lot. It was really fun and we had a lot of fun. And finally looking to other news now, the world's longest inflatable water slide is coming to Dubai this September. City Slide Dubai will boast two 500 meter long chutes and riders will be sprayed with soapy water from jets as they slide down. The ride will be a part of a two day event over in Motor City, which will also see a range of music, entertainers, a DJ and hospitality outlets. Similar temporary events will also take place in London, Amsterdam and the US. Exact dates are yet to be announced, but the event will run from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. next month.